Hi, I'm Robert McClemon, and this video is an introduction for students in Wilfrid Laurier University course ES102 to the first of five labs that they're going to be doing in this class. This lab is called Climate Change and Me. Now, in the first few weeks of the course, we're going to be talking a lot about climate change, and particularly how human activities are affecting climatic processes, what the impacts of climate change will be on human uh, well-being, and some of the steps we can take to mitigate uh, greenhouse gas emissions that are driving anthropogenic climate change. Now, one of the challenges that we face when talking about climate change is that it's such a big-scale problem. All of us are contributing to it, uh, and all of us are going to be affected by it, but our relative contributions to the problem and the way in which we're going to be affected by it is going to be very different from one place to another, and indeed from one individual or from one household to another. And so, what the purpose of this lab is, is to get us thinking about, on a more personal and local level, how we are going to be affected by climate change. Now, um, and not just us, but our loved ones as well. Now, what we're going to do in this lab is a couple things. One is that you're going to meet with your lab instructor and your fellow participants in your lab section. Uh, and this being the first lab in the course, there's going to be a little bit of an icebreaker activity. You'll get to know one another. And then what you're going to do in a group is to talk about uh, or what we know about climate change already. So there's a list of questions you'll find in your lab assignment that will help us sort of unpack our collective knowledge about climate change. We're going to talk about what we know, but we're probably also going to spend some time talking about what we don't know about climate change or what we ought to know about climate change. After we've met with our lab, uh, our lab instructors and our lab sections, then what you're going to do is you're going to read a chapter from a national assessment uh, on the impacts of climate change on Canada. Now, assuming you're from the province of Ontario, uh, then you'll read the Ontario chapter, but there's chapters in that document as well uh, for people from other parts of the country. And what you'll see in that chapter is how, in the case of Ontario, what are the specific types of things that each region of Ontario uh, is going to experience in coming years as a result of climate change. And after having read that, you're going to reflect upon how those sorts of changes are going to affect you and your loved ones. Uh, now, each person is going to come up with different ideas because, for example, each of us have different family backgrounds and different attributes. To give you a specific example, uh, you may come from a family where one of your loved ones suffers from a respiratory illness, uh, such as asthma. Now, uh, and one of the things that you'll read in the chapter is that in southern Ontario, we can expect there will be more heat waves uh, in the future, uh, and with more days where uh, people who have respiratory illnesses are going to be advised to stay indoors because there's a strong connection between hospital admissions and doctor visits for respiratory illnesses uh, and high heat events. So if a loved one in your family has a respiratory illness, then one of the ways that that person is going to experience climate change is that it's going to affect their lifestyle in the future. Now in another family, uh, perhaps uh, you may come from a farm, in which case uh, the changes in temperature and precipitation that we can experience, that we're going to experience in coming years, uh, may affect the types of crops that your family chooses to grow or have an impact on the profitability of your livestock operations. The point being is this, is that each person is going to experience climate change in different ways, and so that's your job. And so after you've reflected upon the questions, and after you've had a chance to look through some of the research about Ontario, uh, then you're going to write a two-page report summarizing how climate change is likely to affect you and your family. Now, two pages isn't much space to do this, uh, so you're also encouraged to, in fact, you're asked to use either a table or a graphic organizer to help you organize your report. Now, I think you know what a table probably is. Graphic organizer is simply um, a visual device that helps you organize large amounts of information uh, in a fairly efficient manner. If you're not entirely sure what it is, just Google it. I'm sure you'll come up with lots of uh, suggestions. So what you're going to do is you're going to write up a two-page summary. You may have to do some additional research on your own to, uh, to verify your facts about climate change and how it affects your family. Uh, so a two-page written summary, your one-page graphic organizer or table, plus any additional references that you may have used in writing your report, and you're going to submit those electronically via My Learning Space before your next lab meeting. So I hope you have fun with this exercise, um, and I'll see you in class.